Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Rebel Rose. Um, to those of you who have been here for a long time, thank you so much for your support. And to any new people, welcome. We're really happy you're here. So today, we're going to show you a little bit of behind the scenes from our upcoming Women of Anime project. We're not going to reveal just yet who we're featuring, but if you have any, if you have a guess who it might be, please tell us in the comments section. And the first couple of people will give us who we guess correctly, will give you a shout out and we might even give you a special surprise gift. So yeah, like always, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know the drill. Um, you can also connect with us more directly on Instagram and Twitter. And we also have something new. We have a Patreon account. So that's where if you want to help financially support us, because all of this, we've been paying for it out of pocket and recent college grads broke everything in the world going on. Yeah, it's, it's been a struggle. So yeah. If you don't don't feel like you need to, but if you want to throw a couple bucks our way, that we, we would be so grateful. And we also have a lot of cool extra behind the scenes projects and things that you will get in return. So yeah, the links to all of that will be down below in the description box. So you can find everything there. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for being here. So let's get to it. So today, we're heading out to find some stuff to make props and costumes for the new project. Into the city we go. Hey guys. So here we are at Home Plus. Well, we're in the pet section right now, so <laughs> this is not what where we'll be spending most of our time, but we are looking for things for our next big women of anime project. You're out. See if we can figure out what our next featured character is going to be. What? Maybe that's not good. Huh? Blue, paint, um, yarn if I can find it. I actually ended up finding some thread in the home goods section at the nearby grocery store. It turned out to be too thick though. I'll show you later in the video what I had to do. So now we're heading back home. We really try to be discreet when we're filming in public, so sorry for all the shaking. <laughs> we're still figuring out the best way to do this. Back home, I got to work drawing up plans and designs. I used some pictures for reference to make sure I get the details right. To be honest, I'm not a real big planner, but I also really don't want to miss anything important. 
So I'm doing my best. Okay, it's time to start cutting. I will say it right now, this is not a tutorial because although I did have an idea of the finished item in mind, I really just made things up as I went along. So we'll see how this turns out. Helper cat. Now I'm cutting out a few more pieces that are the exact same size and shape. Can you figure out what I'm making? Time for the first fitting. I worked in the theater department costume shop in university, and I'm definitely using some of the skills I learned there. Probably with some of the most useful stuff that I learned in college, to be honest. So like I mentioned before, the thread I got was too thick to go through the needle on the sewing machine, and since my other thread didn't come in time, I ended up putting thread that came in the bobbin on the sewing machine into another bobbin so I could use it. Sorry if that was gibberish to you. Basically I had to put thread from one thing onto another thing, and it took a really long time. But ooh, it's coming to life. Still not quite how I need it to look though. So, back to the cutting board, literally. Trying out some different ideas. Trying to make sure that everything is the right size. I love using the rotary color. It's so much fun. So satisfying. And now I'm back to work <laughs> putting more thread on the bobbin. Tedious, but someone has to do it. Oh yeah, so I was working on something else too. This cape. It feels like wearing a blanket because uh, <laughs> I literally made it out of a blanket. Oh wait. There's still a few other things I have to do to it to make it look the way it needs to. But you'll see what I do. 
Now I'm cutting some straps for the cape. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> figuring out how to attach these so they could distribute the weight of the cape was the hardest part of all of this. I think I figured out a method that will work though. Sewing on the machine is also so satisfying. Honestly, I think part of the reason I enjoy sewing so much is because of all of the satisfyingly ASMR-y moments. So nice. And of course, the creativity and the fun, and, or the fun of seeing your ideas come to life is pretty good too. So here's the finished product. I am very happy with how this turned out. So here is one of the finished shoes. I have a different shoe underneath. I have it attached with straps. I'm gonna add another one right here to like help it shape my foot better. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Then, still troubleshooting a few things with the cloak, like how to make the hood fall more effectively. Oop. Yeah. Make it more hood-like. Like that. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. So remember to guess the character in the comment section below, and if you watched all of this, thank you so much, and you're amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.